And with that, Stephen, we turn our attention back to you. And um, you know, we're talking about you know rain in, in forks, and they're used to that there. The Skagit River cresting, we're not, you know, we don't want that. We're not used to that. Right. So what are we talking about with the people who are living there? Are they, you know, what are they looking at potentially? You know, it, it, it's interesting because we do have the flood watch and the flood warnings that are still going on, and we have a lot of rain, and it's still coming down in a lot of these uh, communities. But we have uh, freezing levels that are going to be lowering over the next couple of days, which certainly helps because once when the rain when it's snow in the mountains mm -hmm. and not rain, that's helpful, right? Because it does doesn't uh, it doesn't necessarily fill up all of the rivers as we head downstream mm -hmm. but the problem is is if you get snow uh, like we're going to get in the middle of the week in the mountains and then the snow level goes back up then all of that starts to melt again and right. come down the rivers so it's not necessarily the rain it, all of it has to take uh, take effect right so that's what we're, what we're looking at right now we are seeing some rain in some areas and there's a break for some folks too. take a look here at Paul's boat right now you can see uh, the sun trying to peek through here's a look at Westport right now pretty wet uh, there out on the coast and right now in Seattle we have a bit breezy conditions too you can see the camera bouncing around a bit winds out of the south of 14 miles an hour 52 degrees and cloudy November rain. We just talked about this a little bit ago. You can see in SeaTac we've had over 10 inches of rain. Bellingham over 13 inches. Forks over two feet of rain. But look at the record for November, 29 inches. So they are not at the record right now. Uh, today's forecast: it'll be rainy at three. We're going to get a little bit of a break in the early afternoon, and then it'll return again by five o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock too, we'll see those rain showers, especially in the Puget Sound region. High temps over the next couple of days look like this: 57, 51, 46, 49. Again, Again, these are the days that that snow level is going to lower, which is going to help us, but then it does pop back up again, and that's going to uh, cause some problems uh, with the river flooding. Everett, the next 12 hours, some showers, brief break, more showers, and a break, so it's kind of off and on showers. Uh, we did get to 58 degrees yesterday, the average high 49, and the record we were close to it back in 1999 when it hit 59 degrees. The countdown to winter is on 21 days. It's December 21st. Today, of course, the last day of November, as you know, and our snow levels wanted to show you this today. It's really high and then you can see Thursday and Friday lowering to uh, levels that we want to see this time of year and then it goes back up again to near 7000 feet as we head on into the weekend. The radar over the last couple of hours you can see pretty wet throughout the region and this is as we call the atmospheric river that's making its way through here and bringing all the rain over the next couple of days and with our future cast we're going to be able to see just when it will be rainy in your community. You can take a look at the map and see kind of where you live and decide if you're going to be rainy or uh, dry or just cloudy by six o'clock. You can see it's not too bad in the I-5 corridor here. Lots of rain on the Olympic Peninsula and of course in the Cascade Foothills communities. And then we have off and on showers overnight as we head into tomorrow and the next day as well. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast for you. Rainy and breezy today and a high of 55, 57 tomorrow with showers north and rain late in the day. Morning showers, afternoon clearing on Thursday. Friday looks like a mostly sunny day and a bit cooler. So as those snow levels drop, we're not getting any moisture in the mountains. And then it starts to warm back up again. And then we start to see that rain move back in.